He came through an epic in round one. Might another be on the cards today? Welcome back to the Viking Open Nottingham, where top seed Dan Evans is looking to book his spot in the quarterfinals. Standing in his way, it's another Aussie. It's Matthew Ebden. And this one could shape up to be quite the contest. It's Abigail Johnson here in the commentary booth to guide you through this match. And it's the qualifier the underdog, Matt Ebden, who leads the head-to-head, -head, having won their only previous meeting in Nottingham back in 2013. So there are some interesting storylines around this match, and we're looking forward to it getting underway.
right guys, just to let you know all the lines are covered. Long lines are pulled through the net. We don't show the countdown in the screen, but I'm gonna track the time and if you are close to the time I will let you know. Those bark sets, which number you want? One or two? You take two, you have one? Okay, good. Head stands. Head to pinch one. Then, you see? You see. So here we go, Evans versus Ebden for a place in the quarterfinals. A first meeting in eight years, but they'll be very familiar with each other's game styles. Both have been on the tour for some time. No secrets here on centre court. Two minutes. One minute. Ladies and gentlemen, this match will be best of three time break sets. Dan Evans, on the top of the left, and two seats. And the bottle.
making that warm-up. Dan Evans, the top seed, taking on Matthew Ebden for the first time since 2013 when Ebden took Evans down here on his way to the title. So two former champions here, one of them the defending champion in Dan Evans. And after an epic two-hour, 51-minute first-round victory over Thanasi Kokinakis, he's looking to take down his second straight Aussie. Whereas Ebden, who beat Ryan Penniston in the first round, is looking to beat his second straight British wildcard. Something has to give out here. And Evans, having come through a tough battle, will be hoping that he is hardened up for this matchup. An early taste of what you're likely to see a lot more of in this match. Matthew Ebden loves the grass court. You'll see a lot of serve and volleys out here. And it will be interesting to see if Dan Evans brings his own to the table to combat. And so for Evans, that length on his shots from the get-go, right from the return, is going to be key to try and keep Ebden back in the court, stop him from moving up it. Three matches under his belt here for Matt Ebden, having come through qualifying. He was the number six seed. He beat another Brit, Arthur Ferry, in the first round and then took down the number two seed, Victor Troisky. There's the opening hold on the board for the Australian, Matt Ebden, age 33, a long-time presence on the tour now. He's got a current ranking of number 230, but his career high is right up at number 39. That was achieved in October 2018, the year that he broke the top 50 for the first time after reaching the third round of Wimbledon, a career highlight for him. In the opening round to beat the number nine seed, David Goffin, in straight sets. And went down to Gilles Simon, a really tricky Frenchman, in a four-set loss in that round three. So that shows you about how comfortable Ebden is on a grass court. And Dan Evans a little bit agitated early. He knows that this is going to be another close clash. Wasn't happy with a call in that opening game. But we move on. Here at the Viking Open Nottingham, the first of two challenger events to be staged in Nottingham this month.
Nice positioning from Evans, keeping nicely on top of that ball. Cracking down from the height of the bounce to get himself inside the baseline. Might be a race to the forecourt here. Oh, the dive gets it. What an exchange. Evans had made that really difficult for Ebden, just dropping the ball over the net. So the Aussie had to pick it up. Great reactive instincts on display, showing his double skills, Ebden. He's on the doubles court later today in Nottingham alongside J.P. Smith. They made the quarter-finals of the Australian Open this year. Another straightforward hold, this one for Dan Evans. So both players on the board at the beginning of this one. Ebden beat Ryan Penniston yesterday, but Evans has had a day's rest since that epic victory over Thanasi Kokonakis. So despite the lengthy battle there, he should be feeling refreshed for this match. And it's a good thing too, it's a warm day in Nottingham. Oh, great reactions from Ebden to the net cord. Gentle touch. You can see what Evans is trying to do there, though. He knows that that immediate net approach from Ebden is likely, so he's trying to keep that ball low and make those volleys uncomfortable. Because high balls like that, Ebden isn't often going to miss, but Let's open the door here. Really important to get these early service holds on the board with two players that like to be so proactive behind the serve. There's more of an opening at the beginning of a match while the players are still getting going.
And there is the second hold for Ebden. Evans closing, looking to capitalize on a Ebden couple leaves. of slip ups from his Ebden opponent. But the Aussie steadies the ship, and so we're on serve at the beginning of this one. If we also count their meeting at futures level in 2010, it's actually Ebden that's too love up on the head to head in this one, but time has passed. It's been eight years since they last faced off. Both players now in their 30s with an abundance of experience and new titles under their belt. Dan Evans getting his first ATP title wrapped up in Australia at the beginning of the year. Australia has been pretty good to him as far as performances go. He reached his first ATP final in Sydney in 2017. That broke him into the top 100. Time. His first event of the year. And then in his third ATP final at the Murray River Open in January, February time this year, beat Felix Alger Aliassime to get that elusive ATP title. been a strong year for Evans. That win over Kokonakis was his 13th of the season, but he'll know not to underestimate Matt Ebden, who has the form in Nottingham. Qualifiers can be dangerous. They're warmed up. They're at home in the conditions. Thank <laughs> you. 
Juice. Juice. Back with you, just in time for a huge hold of serve for Dan Evans. Had to save break points there. Apologies for the brief departure. Tech difficulties, they happen. But Dan Evans happened in that game. Big serve and great intensity under pressure. And Matt Ebden misses an early opportunity. So how will he handle that? Still going with serve in this opening set. Ebden just pummeling the backhand there, looking to break it down. And the strategy paid off. Watch for him serving into that wing as well. Trying to get a shorter ball, an easier finish. When 79% of his first serve points in the last round, Ebden. Those first serve numbers are going to be key for both players. Evans has landed 82% so far in this match. And it would have helped him in that previous service game having to save three break points, but Ebden doesn't break stride. A hold to love, that's the best thing that the Aussie could hope for. 
heading into this changeover. And still a little between the pair as they sit down at this change event. So eight seeded players here at the Nottingham Challenger. Dan Evans, the highest of those seeds. Francis Tiafo, the number two seed. They're on track to face off in the final. That would be a good one, but Evans can't afford to look too far ahead. And for those eight seeds, for two of them, there was a first round loss on the cards. Number five seed Mackenzie McDonald and number seven seed Damien Juma going out in round one to Evgeny Donskoy and Marius Kopil, respectively. Kopil, also a qualifier like Ebden. Wins among the seeds for Evans, Tiafo, Seppi, Anderson, former Wimbledon finalist, Kudla and Mychak. This is an incredibly strong ATP Challenger draw. The grass court season is so short. And as the French Open continues over in Paris, those that dropped out early or aren't such a fan of the clay courts are welcoming the opportunity to get this extra week of action on the lawns under their belt. Evans here right at the beginning of what he hopes will be a lengthy grass court campaign. Such great control in the forecourt. Ebden, he has an extra spring in his step when it comes to the grass, and he was so quick to close there, spying the opportunity. Evans on the defensive as that flat backhand swung into his own. Breathtaking off forehand. We mentioned those matches that Ebden's come through here already. Wasting no time getting into this match. And that indicates that he's feeling under some pressure, Evans. Ebden with a deep central return. The Brit trying to be proactive didn't pay off, and these are three straight break points for the Aussie. Oh, he finds it. First blood to Matthew Ebden in style. Looked so comfortable on the stretch. Found the sweet spot on the forehand. And it is the first break of the match that goes his way. Now, that's deeply impressive considering how he was pegged back when he had the previous break points in a lengthy service game for Evans. The break came through strong on that occasion, but the first serve just deserted him there. 
Ebden able to take advantage? But can he consolidate? <laughs> Ebben's determined to make sure that he does not consolidate that break of serve. Starting this game with a flourish, this first game after being broken is so key to stop the opponent building any kind of momentum. Evans, with his experience, knows that. He's locked straight back in here, knows the challenge this match could be. Oh, quality on the second serve. That spun right away from the racket of Evans. Really decided to go big there, Ebden. Frustration for Evans. Love 30 quickly erased. Looked like he was about to make an impact. There's still a half chance here. Can you put the pressure on? Break back point for Dan Evans. Another low return and a shake of the head from Ebden. He seemed to have a stranglehold on the match at that point, 4-2, having put pressure routinely on the Evans serve. It's so much harder when you're suddenly playing with something to lose. Evans made him feel it. And we're back on serve in this opening set. Great response from the Brit, showing how he's grown as a player over the last two or three years. It's been impressive to see his focus, his attitude take a drastic change. Currently ranked at world number 27, just a spot off his career high, which he achieved in February, shortly after that first ATP title. Well, I've been slightly disappointed with his Grand Slam showings, Evans, given how impressive he's been this year. Lost in the first round of the Australian Open to Cam Norrie. Hates that matchup. And then in the first round of the French Open from a setup. But he knows that Wimbledon's a good opportunity for him, so making the most of this grass court preparation. Twice he's made the third round at Wimbledon in 2016, and when he most recently played in 2019. So serving to level up on the scoreboard here, Evans. Ebden will feel like he's being caught up to now but he's still out in front on the scoreboard has to try and utilize that
Going big on some of these second serves, Evans. He knows it's essential. It will be an opening. There's a key statistic in this match against Kokonakis. He won 81% of his second serve points in a match that was high quality serving from both players. Can't hold back. Because if he does, Ebden is going to be right there to capitalize. You can see their great balance at the baseline with his experience on the doubles court and with the brand of tennis that he likes to play. He's not going to be thrown by a target at the net. How about it? Hammer blow up the line. The timing from Ebden. Just brilliant. Tight games here on center court. Another moment where they're locked at 30 all. And he gets the lift, brushes up the back of the ball, utilizes that net cord, Ebden. Displeasure for the top seed, but the Aussie can sense his opportunity. We've been in this situation before, but the scoreboard is different now. Evans knows that if Ebden can break through, his opponent will be serving for the set. Extra pressure. And he rises under it. Juice. Deep into the backhand of Ebden, he's drawn a couple of errors on that backhand slice. Has to be committed all the way through the shot. A good move from Ebden. You could sense a bit of tension from Evans there with the let and then the first serve missing. Ebden just making him play, being steady to try and expose that. And this game goes on. Smart play from the qualifier. Will it pay off? Not if Dan Evans can keep serving with that kind of quality. Coming through when it matters. Dan Evans with a stunning backhand. 
right on the line. That was an absolutely huge hold of serve. The scoreboard pressure would have been immense if Ebden had broken through there. The top seed knowing when to rise. And it means that the scoreboard is now somewhat in his favor because if he can break through here, it will be Dan Evans himself serving for this set. That's how quickly things can change in tennis. How about it? Jumped on that return. Ready for the net approach from Ebden. And it's that same intensity that we saw from him in his last match against Kokonakis, even as his opponent maintained such a high level. Evans staying upbeat, going after each point. So close. Ebden taking no chances there, wasn't about to serve into the forehand on the approach after the way the first point played out. But Evans was very close to making that second backhand, so might have his opponent overthinking. Daring move. Approach behind the slice from Ebden. It gave him a little bit more time to get up to that net and block the space. Big boost for Evans. That Ebden off forehand has been really reliable in this first set. Breaks it down. And here we are again, the familiar territory of 30 all. Southern Volley saves the day. 40, Ebden knows he won't win this match by sitting back. Whatever the scoreboard says, he has to commit when he sees the opportunity to get up to that net. Great move from him. And that'll do nicely. Well, plenty for the highlights reel in this opening set so far. But no breaks have served despite breakpoint opportunities. And Matt Ebden coming through emphatically to come one game away from the set. So will that change anything for Dan Evans now? He did lose the opener 6-4 against Kokonakis on Monday and came back to win two tie breaks. Converted just one of his five breakpoint chances in that first round match, Evans, but it's all about knowing when to peak. And boy, did he play two brilliant tie breaks, racing out to the lead in both of them. That was ultimately the cushion that he needed to get it done and produce some absolutely mind-blowing tennis at times. But Matt Ebden is experienced. He's loving the grass courts. He's feeling at home in Nottingham, and he's the winner of the previous Nottingham meeting between these two. Can he push across the line here? It's Dan Evans serving to stay in the set.
Klingel. Trying to beat his tally of 15 aces from round one, Evans. He'll hope he's not on court long enough to get close to that number. Just caught the corner there. And that tells you something about how comfortable Ebden is feeling. Really steady on his feet at the back of the court. He handled the return really well too. Kicked into his body. Used the backhand slice just to control it and get himself right into the rally. Well, he wraps it up. Dan Evans with a more straightforward service hold. Knows that now is not the time for messing around. Business end of the opening set. And still very little between the two players on court. Ebden once again serving to take a step out in front. Well, these two nailing the sidelines right now using the far reaches of the court. Ebden really smart with the moments that he chooses to close in. Waiting until Evans is in some danger, isn't well balanced. Evans will persist with those quick, low returns. Has effectively put Ebden under some pressure there in this set, but can he do it consistently enough? Can he string those kinds of points together to really make an impact? That's the big question. And it's going to be tough to achieve with Ebden serving like that. He's mixing up his placement nicely. Evans not anticipating that body serve. And that's the third ace on the board for Matt Ebden wrapping up the game, heading to the sit down, knowing that once again, he's a game away from the opening set.
Well, we anticipated another tight one, and that's what we've got so far out here on centre court at the Viking Open Nottingham. Second round action, and Matthew Ebden demonstrating his all-court ability. Very accomplished on the doubles court as well as the singles court. Current world number 72 in doubles with a career high just outside the top 50. We mentioned he reached that Australian Open quarter final earlier this year. He also won the Australian Open mixed doubles title in 2013 alongside John Miller Gajdasova. And Team Evans watching on from the stands will have been pretty pleased with how he served to stay in the set the first time of asking. But who's going to break down first? That's the question. So for the second time, it's Dan Evans serving to stay in the set. And that is just too good from Ebden in the forecourt. Yeah, Evans giving him the appreciation he deserves. Look at this. He's kept that backhand so low. Brilliant control right onto the line. Straight on the paint. Reaction from Evans gives you an idea of the pressure that he's under right now. Not just on the scoreboard, but the sheer quality that Ebden's bringing to the court. It is precarious ground now, though. The margins of Man Ebden. Oh. The cheap points on serve so needed for Evans right now. And just the one break of serve each way in this set so far. Evans capitalizing on his only opportunity. Ebden pushing through on one chance out of five. But Evans looking to make sure we see no more in this first set. It's tie break time. In just the second match of the week, it's tiebreak number three for Dan Evans. He's won both the ones he's pr played previously. But can Matt Ebden sustain this serving quality that we've seen throughout the set, offering Evans just that single breakpoint chance? Here we go. Oh, what a point to kick things off. Great reach from Ebden. Evans distinctly on the back foot, trying everything he could there, but was rushed. How good is this? 
net play of the highest quality here on centre court. Evans didn't let the previous point get on top of him. He just responded in style. That was a great deep approach forehand. And brilliant control below the height of the net cord. Well, when he brings out the alley, you know he's pumped. No mini breaks offered up at the beginning of this. Still a way to go in the tie break. He apologizes, Evans. Not sure how clean a hit that was, but it was effective either way. That's a miscues, and that is the first mini break. It goes the way of the top seed, making this a really important point for the Aussie. Oh, great reactions. And that shows you just how important the 2-3 three point was for Matthew Ebden. Could so easily have been the 4-1 deficit. Now they're locked at 3-all, heading into the first change events. And a great recovery from the Aussie. There have been a couple of moments, two or three in this set, where he's just misjudged the travel and the spin of Evan's shot. Hasn't been in position. He's so quick to find his stride again after staggering on that forehand. So mini breaks are raised. Evans to serve. What a match this is. Brilliant scramble from Ebden. Four, three, Ebden. He was pushed behind the baseline. He dug that ground stroke over the height of the net, dipping it. Now, how big could this be? From 3 1 down to 4 3 up. Oh, he'd done all the right things. Understandable frustration from Dan Evans. Five, three. Because he set that up magnificently. 
have to credit Ebden for how fearsome he's been in the forecourt, making this a tough finishing shot for Evans. It's not the kind he'd usually miss. Fractionally long, but that's a fraction too much. Well, how Six, this has three. swung. Five points on the trot for the qualifier, and it's Matthew Ebden who has the first three set points. Just that's how big the serve has to be for Evans right now. Done his bit here, Evans. Won the two points on his serve. Still a set point left for Matthew Ebden. It's on his racket, but he doesn't have much breathing room now. Next to none. Hey. How good is that from Evans? Swung everything into that return, digging it down to the feet of Ebden. Even the best volleying skills from the qualifier were not going to be enough on that occasion. Here we are again, locked in battle, six all. And that was quite a statement. Two unreturned backhands from Ebden to relinquish the first two set points and then a brilliant backhand return from Evans to make it six all. Could those be decisive moments? That's another intensity from Evans. The top seed is rallying. Seven seeds, Evans. Four points in a row. And after saving three set points, he has one of his own on his racket. There it is, Dan Evans takes the opener. It was an absolute battle to do so. Came from 6-3 down in that tie break. And he did it with quality, serving and returning. It's the top seed out in front. Whew, well, he'll be thinking that was a little bit close for comfort, Evans. He has been pushed the absolute distance in every set he's played here in Nottingham so far, all three against the Nasi Kokonakis were closely contested affairs. But on that occasion, Evans drops the first set. Doesn't do so here.
Well, this is another match that promised to be a close one. It's delivered so far. Dan Evans, you can see there from the highlights, having to dig deep to come through the opening set, but come through he did. Matthew Ebden won their previous meeting here in Nottingham in straight sets. The top seed looking to rewrite the script. It's some start from the Brit. Evans been so comfortable in that forehook forecourt, and Evans dipping these balls and using the far reaches of the court to make his opponent uncomfortable. Bang in the corner with that forehand. What a way to start the second set. And now he's pushed through, despite being on the brink. Evans will look to make Ebden feel that on the scoreboard. Has the opportunity to get the first game on the board and serve staying out in front. His opponent was so difficult to put away from up near that forecourt, up close to the net in the opening set. Evan striking with determination to keep him back in the court. Oh. A welcome winner for Ebden. But there's still work to be done in this game. Whether or not he wins it, wants to put on as much pressure as possible just to stop Evans building some momentum and gaining in confidence. Now that first set is in his pocket, he's just a little bit more loose out here, Evans, swinging more. And a well-crafted point there, using the shorter cross-court forehand just to drag his opponent around the court. It was so difficult to get Ebden off balance in that opening set. But tactically, the top seed and defending champion looks like he's getting that. No grass court tennis last season, but the previous year in 2019, Evans won the two challenges back to back in Surbiton and Nottingham. So his form on this surface is in no doubt, and from what we've seen out here, Ebden's ability on the lawns is in no doubt. But where's he at mentally? How will he respond to dropping that first set after having set points? Cheap points on serve, much needed for Ebden at the beginning of this set, just to stay in touch. Serving numbers were high for both players throughout that opener. But Evans just landing the more first serves ultimately.
30-15. Interestingly, the huge difference in that first set was in Ebden's favour. He won 80% of his second serve points. Evans, in contrast, just 22%. Ebden really saw an opening there to rip into, but sometimes when it's one in a tie break, the stats don't really tell the full story. Just a few big points from Evans at the end won it. Ebden had the more break point opportunities, but Evans timed it to perfection to come through those tricky moments. Ebden's wife, Kim. Brilliant rally. Evans with no mercy at the end of it. He would have been feeling a bit worried because he got himself in a great position inside the baseline dictating and then Ebden caught him out to get back into things. Tennis match isn't the time for being nice. Juice. Oh, he's caught that outside edge of the sideline. Ebden's not convinced. And it was reactive from Evans as well. The serve kicked into him, just had to try and put a racket on it. And I have to say, it wasn't obvious as to whether that ball caught the line. Let's have a look. Oh, dear. Juice. Well, I think Matthew Ebden might have a point there. Really going to test where his head game's at because that's a huge point. Getting Evans to juice. He's just won the first set. He's won the first game in this set. And the qualifier is going to feel like it's some justice if you can get across the line in this one. That's well done. And with Evans' passing ability recently, it's going to be a tougher task for Ebden to keep committing to that forecourt, but he's doing it. Let's first of Nicely handled by the 33-year-old Matthew Ebden gets on the board in this second set. And it's really good to see, put the frustration of the line call in a big moment behind him. Throws the spotlight back across the net to Dan Evans.
That's good science for Evans. Even behind a second serve, it goes unreturned. Less positive for his opponent. <laughs> Stunning rally. Once again, every inch of that court being put to you. Hipton showing his craft. So quickly up to that shorter volley. Stretching Evans down the line. And then making sure he had no chance of getting up to that one. Working hard in the Nottingham Heat. But he's making it tough for his opponent to get into rallies there, Evans. Gets his nose back out in front for 2-1. And Ebden is in a little bit of a dilemma because he knows he has to go for a little bit more to try and get on top of his opponent. But it's a fine line to tread then of actually keeping the ball within the confines of the court. Struggled on that final point. So Evans with one foot in the quarterfinals here at the Viking Open Nottingham. And he could face a meeting with his Battle of the Brits team tennis nemesis, Liam Brody. The two of them going at each other throughout that week last summer. Vintage heckling. And Brody defeated Alex Bolt, another Aussie, in the first round. And he takes on the number 60, Dennis Kudler. You also won in three sets to make it through to round two. So the winner of that match, Brody versus Kudla, awaits the winner of Evans versus Ebden. It's a draw full of big matchups. And it's Matthew Ebden playing from behind here, serving to catch up at 1 2. $50. Such great skill. And it's points like that that kept him well in touch in that opening set. It's just a question of what happens when things get tight. Might regret how quickly he let those two return points on the set points one and two slip away in the tiebreak. But Ebden is keeping his head in the moment. And an impressive hold of serve there. Nice and quickly wrapped up. Two all in the second set.
Just ripping winners like it's not that special at the moment, Dan Evans. Since he got that first set, things seem to be flowing a little easier. It's been really slim margins in these one in this one, but just recently those margins tend to fall the way of Dan Evans. go two super quick holds of serve and it is the top seed and defending champion just keeping his nose out in front well, we've spoken about Dan Evans best Wimbledon runs twice a third round appearance once in 2016 once in 2019 and as well enjoyed reaching that third round of Wimbledon in 2018. And both have been presences on the lawns for a number of years now. Edson made his Wimbledon qualifying debut in 2010, just the year after Dan Evans had made his Wimbledon main draw debut in 2009 against a certain world number 11, Nikolai Davidenko. That's come a long way since then, Evans. 2016, his third round run ended at the hands of Roger Federer. No shame in that. So once again, it is Matthew Ebden serving to stay in touch. I don't know, but they are available, they're working on it. You have to continue, we cannot wait for them. I know that, I'm not that. Oh, nice. Effortlessly handled. That backhand has become more and more secure from Ev Evans as this match has worn on. Increasingly dangerous when he's been put on the back foot. And maybe, just maybe, Hebden isn't so confident serving into it anymore. 
pressure on that second serve, a double fault, a half chance for Evans. And that's a full chance now for the top seed with that emphatic return of serve. Not the first time he's produced a bit of magic like that. Ready for the move in from Ebden. Rushing the Aussie qualifier. And here he is, Dan Evans, clenched fist. Break point. Oh, that's brilliant, brilliant stuff from Ebden under pressure. Two. Slip from Evans. There's more disappointment than anything that he'd made it a difficult job for his opponent on the return. Looks to be moving okay, just took a moment there. To business. Quality shot after quality shot from that backhand now. And really, Hefton doesn't seem to have a safe spot on the court. Inside that baseline, getting the timing just right. Evans with another chance to break through. Alley indeed, it's the breakthrough for Dan Evans. Up the intensity at the back end of that game. Well, could that be decisive? Ebden was up against it, having had the advantage in the tiebreak, not able to come through, then serving second in this second set. Evans was straining to get himself out in front, capitalize on the advantage he had of serving first. Now he's done it. Can he consolidate? Serving at 4 2. That's so well played. Stretching Ebden out. Seem to have all the time in the world to produce that Evans. And Ebden knows what he wants to do out here. He ran around that return to get it on the forehand, tried to drive, but Evans increasingly well balanced at that baseline. Needed that. has to keep his foot down here. Evans, you saw what happened in the previous point. Ebden pouncing on his moment to approach. No other option for the top seed but to keep his opponent on the back foot here.
Oh, what a turnaround from the Aussie. Leapt on the return down the line, set him up to do damage. Is it enough to make an impact in this return game? And the flatness of the backhand really paying off that. Defense to attack. Oh, he's got himself back in here, Ebden. Looked like it was going to be business as usual for the Brit. His opponent says not so fast. And that's why it's so important to keep focus on every individual point. Stay in the moment. That's long. Steady stuff from Ebden. And there might just be a chink in the armor of Dan Evans. Serving for 5 2, but Matthew Ebden has a break back point. There it is, back on serve in this second set. Big Have response from Matthew Ebden. Really piled the pressure on to get back to 40-30. And Evans felt it. You can sense the displeasure. He would have felt like he was inches from the finish line there, the top seed. Stay there, mate. You do okay just staying there. Believe me, you do okay. He's not impressed. You only have to listen to him to know. And we said just a few minutes ago it was so important for Evans to keep committing, keep approaching that forecourt, keep utilizing the serve. And yet with that big point that Ebden won turning it around for 40 30, he kept his opponent oh, pegged back in the court from there. Now, Evans has to regroup quickly, thanks to his position serving first. He's actually still out in front on the scoreboard here. Two games in a row for Ebden. And the one, sorry, breaking back. So he'll feel like he has momentum, but really, it is the top seed who's still a couple of steps from the finish line. And Ebden just has to watch his step here. It's the right thing to do. Keep moving in, keep playing his game. But he has to do so clinically. Evans is fired up and agitated. Any gifts, he'll take advantage of them. Nasty net cord. Now that is tough to take. Just a step away there, Ebden, from wrapping up the point. Evans barely has his racket under that, and then it just clips the net. You could see from the racket face, Ebden ready to take that cross court. Nothing he can do, except try and move on quickly. Little bit of luck on the previous point, but nothing lucky about that forehand for Dan Evans. 
set up brilliantly with the smart return. Once again, just dribbling over that net, forcing Ebden to keep low. And this is exactly how you should respond to being broken back. It's Dan Evans with three straight chances to get back out in front. Ebden with his foot down. Had three straight set points in the opening set. Opportunity here to get his own back. Oh, so fluid. The off forehand has worked a treat for him at times today. Side steps around that ball knew exactly what he was doing. Two saved. Can Evans convert the third? Got around it. But Ebden was covering the right side of the court. There's this constant pressure from both sides of the net in this match, asking the opponent to go for more. Risky tennis required at this stage of the match. Who's braver? Evan steady. And once again, it's an inch that makes the difference. That was going to be a tough forehand up the line from Ebden. He slapped it. Didn't quite have the clearance. Break point number four. Just misses. That is tough to take for the Aussie qualifier, who has just come out on the wrong end of a Never few please. too many slim Fire margins please. out here on centre court. He's played a great game, but it is Dan Evans who has the opportunity now to serve for the match and his place in the quarterfinals at 5-3 second set. Brilliantly proactive from Ebden. He's on the brink here, but he has to play as if it's any other game of the match. Just stay in each point moment by moment. It's making full advantage of the opening offered by that second serve. But he makes it again, Dan Evans, with another great passing shot. He will be sowing seeds of doubt in the mind of Matt Ebden, who just tests out the net cord there because he had another nasty shot go against him just a few games ago, that particular spot of the net.
Hello to the drop shot. We've not seen much of it in this encounter. With all his other skills, Ebden hasn't really needed to resort to it, but it proves effective that forcing Evans to generate his own pace from close to the net. And he knows that he broke back only recently, Ebden. This match is not over. That's huge. Consistent depth from Ebden, getting the ball on his forehand wing. And Evans is a few steps away, but Matthew Ebden has double breakback points. Broken for the third time in this match, Evans. He betrayed his agitation at the last change of ends. Was able to put a lid on it. But once again, Hebden playing proactive tennis on the return and extends this match. Three breaks each across the match now. And Ebden didn't flinch when Dan Evans broke to serve for the match. He just got straight back to business, made an impact, made a statement on the very first point of the game. And once again, Dan Evans is not a happy man. Well, Evans has to get himself together quickly once again because we're seeing a similar situation to what we had a few games ago. He was able to regroup and break through. Oh. Ebden is still the man under pressure. He's serving to stay in the match. There was no sign of pressure on that approach forehand down the line. Nailing the smash as well. There have been some close misses for Ebden in this second set particularly, but he's not letting it put him off. Well, a love hold would really rub salt into the wounds of Dan Evans. And his body language really hasn't helped him out there, the top seed. Didn't make a move to track down that ace from Matthew Ebden who holds to love to level up just when Evans would have been hoping to put him under some pressure and make him feel the occasion of serving to stay in it. Needs a quick reset here, the 31-year-old, or this could go very, very wrong. Oh. 
Thirty dollars. Still landing seventy eight per cent of his first serves in this second set, Dan Evans. It's a strong number, shows you the high expectations that he has for himself out here. Not impressed, but still working hard. Forty dollars. And starting to pick up those cheap points when he needs them. from Dan Evans who's become more and more lethal on the stretch in this match what a moment for it as well he gets the hold on the board and once again it is the top seed who's a game away from wrapping this up in straight sets now can he make more of an impact here the last time Edson was serving to stay in the match he held to love Beautiful blue skies in Nottingham. The vintage day, a marked contrast to the 2019 edition of this event, the most recent meeting, uh, the most recent staging even of the event, where Dan Evans, on the way to his title, had to play half his matches indoors on hard courts because of the incessant rain. Good to see how things have changed in a couple of years. And it's just what a tournament of this quality deserves. The Viking Open Nottingham to be followed by the Nottingham Trophy next week. And Dan Evans once again one game away from the quarterfinals. Let's pass it. Oh, he snuck that over. Slid across the net under the racket of Edson. doing his best to put the qualifier up off approaching that net has landed some heavy blows Now it's tough times for the Aussie. Might that scoreboard begin to weigh heavy here? 15.30 with the double fault. Exposing the pressure the second serve is under. Dan Evans two steps away.
And still two steps away, but that will make things easier to deal with for Matthew Ebden. Good to see that proactivity still. Under all kinds of pressure, able to pick up a cheap serve and volley point. Classic tennis from the Aussie. <laughs> and the chalk flew up on that ace. Here's another tie break on the cards. Efton with a point to take us that. Back to back aces and to the tie break we go. The second of the match in the second set of this contest. And you can see how furious Dan Evans is. He thinks he should be in the locker room by now. Served for this match. Got broken back. But he has to focus on his tiebreak record here in Nottingham. He's played three, won all three. Ebden has just played the one. It occurred in the first set of this contest. He had set points. He lost them. Who wins here? Dan Evans to serve. How well struck. Some way to kick things off. Something that's been key for Dan Evans in all three of the tie breaks he's won in Nottingham is that he's got off to a good start. Opening up a lead, whether it be 3-love, three 3-1, three as in the previous tie break here. Let's first so it's really important for Ebsen to try and make an impact on the scoreboard right at the beginning of this. Let's. First of us. Evans will be a little disappointed there. Let and a second serve from his opponent showing a bit of caginess. At least wanted to make him play a ball. He's done it again. He can't miss from that position right now. And you could see from the body language from his opponent after this one found the mark that that was quite the blow. Just an inch from three love for Matthew Ebden. That could have made all the difference here. And now the frustration has changed sides of the net. Once again, Ebton finding himself on the wrong end of these slim margins. Three, two. 
at a well-timed ace. Girlfriend Aaliyah watching on from the stands. Evans looking to find his stride again. Big service point for Ebden. Doesn't want to head into the change events, trailing by a mini break. And that brilliant touch ensures that he won't. Pretty much off the floor, getting an acute angle. You heard the reaction from Evans as well. He knows just how quality this shot was. Top draw. So we've seen this before. Three all in a tie break. They kept each other close previously. And it looks like it is going to be a battle to the bitter end. Might want that back, Dan Evans. Opportunity to really go after a return, but at this point, under scoreboard pressure, tight moments, at least wants to make his opponent play out a rally. So he's been here before. And this time, he changes things up. Huge into the corner. Showing his experience, showing his form. in those forehands now and real intent from the top seed Dan Evans has ensured that if he wins either one of these next two return points he'll have a match point The Matthew Ebden first serve has left the court and you can see how far in Dan Evans was stood to take advantage. After almost two hours of play, it's the top seed with double match point.
uncertainties in life. Death of Texas and Dan Evans winning tiebreaks in Nottingham. The top seed is through to the quarterfinals with a straight sets victory over the Aussie qualifier Matthew Ebden, but that did not come easy. Once again, he survives a battle, showing his experience, showing his level, proving that he is a man to watch this grass court season. So reliable in the pressure moments. Definitely agitated that he couldn't finish that one more quickly, but when push comes to shove, this guy comes through. And much respect to his opponent, Matthew Ebden, making that one tight. He'd won both their previous meetings, including a meeting here in Nottingham in 2013. He was champion here on that occasion, Ebden. And you can see why. Sheer quality. Brilliant serve and volleys. We'll be seeing more of that from him on the doubles court. He's in action later with J.P. Smith. But it is Dan Evans moving into the quarterfinals, and we'll hear from him very shortly to get his thoughts on that match. Well, uh, Dan Evans, I know it's always hard to analyse something straight afterwards, but what was your feeling after that match? Uh, it was very uh, up and down. Um, I thought Matt played, played well. Um, very good grass court player, as you said, before the start of the match. And um, yeah, he, uh, he got me into a, to a bit of a battle where I didn't really want to be. And um, yeah, he, he, he played well when he was down and I did well to hang in and, uh, and get the... Um, get the win in the end in the second tie break. Yeah, you said to me after your first round, the scoreboard, the tight scoreboard, didn't reflect how in control you felt. A couple of times there as well, were there extra gears you found to go into? Have you got those gears at the moment? Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't feel as comfortable today as I did the first match. I thought, you know, Tenassi hits harder, it gives you a bit more rhythm. Matt did a great job of bringing down the rhythm of the match and slowing it all down. And, um, and yeah, you know, in the, on the grass, it's one or two points. and. But when you're a break up twice in the set, you should uh, you should put one of them away. So it's um, a little disappointing there, but I played good. And again, thanks for everybody for coming. Really enjoyed having you all here again. Now you mentioned my introduction there. The thing I got wrong was saying you hadn't met before you had. And actually, one of the times you'd met was in uh, Matthew's run to the 2013 yep. title. Now you've beaten him here. Do you believe in synchronicity and omens and any of that stuff? <laughs> no, no. Um, yeah, again, I, that's how I knew it was going to be such a tough match today. He re he's really good on the grass. He comes over every year. He plays amazing all the time on the, on the stuff and. You know, a lot of the, to play well on, on grass, you've got to be comfortable, and he's uh, he's very comfortable as as you just seen. So it's another tough match, and one I you know I'm happy to come through. And yeah, you've done really well, and had the warm support of the crowd as well. Congratulations, Thank and you. well done to Dan Evans. He's a man who has such high standards for himself, Dan Evans. But he is playing his way into some serious grass court form here in Nottingham. Two brilliant battles that he's come through to start his campaign here in Nottingham. Takes him into the last eight where he'll face the winner of the clash between the number six seed, Dennis Kudler, and Great Britain's Liam Brody. We look forward to that one, but it's a wrap here for now. I was Abigail Johnson here in the commentary booth to take you through another epic Dan Evans match. Thanks for tuning in, and we look forward to seeing Evans again in the quarterfinals. Yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>